Greetings, folks. This is just a, an interesting little expose here. Um, I've had this tenor for, for a minute. Um, this is an 85,000 <coughs> French Mark VI tenor um, that I was able to determine was original. I mean, I kind of knew it was original anyway. But uh, Douglas Pfeiffer um, responded to my query about this. And this horn was originally produced as a, what they call sable or sand finish. So it's got a sort of a, it's not exactly satin, it's like a sandy rough finish and then gloss uh, engraving. Um, some kind of special order probably, um, it's a bit of a special horn. Um, and, uh, you know, I've done some work on it and eventually I just figured, well, I would take a look at the bow to body joint because the French ones usually aren't soldered. And lo and behold, this is what we have is this kind of... Uh, I don't know what it is, pitch or some kind of seal. You know, there's just old crappy <laughs> black crud uh, that you find in these French tenors. And uh, the interesting point is, you know, why do we want to solder them? Well, look here. Uh, I'm going to back up here and, and watch this. So this is just as found. I've just removed this and look at this. That's how well it's sealed. Oh, it just falls right out. There it is. There's your... <laughs> There's your joint. It's sealed up nice and tight. Not leaky at all. No problem. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how they did the French ones. And, it, you know, there's definitely some difference in terms of how they play. And that's got something to do with it. So I haven't done a single thing to this. All I did was take that band off and then just rock it. You know, it took no force. It just fell apart. There it is. And that cannot be much of a compelling seal for a horn. So... I'm going to clean this up, solder it, and and we'll see uh we'll see what it does. Now just to freak everybody out, look at this. Woo! Look at that. That's the 85,000 horn. Woo! Watch out.